Drawing portraits has been in my life forever, since I was a child. In the early 80s, uh, the ability of drawing uh, opened doors to an uh, advertising market. So I got a job and uh, became an art director and uh, left my portraits behind. Uh, many years later, when the computers had totally replaced the adverti in advertising the human drawing, two important things happened in my life. I met Freud, both Sigmund and Lucian Freud. Those two men helped me to go back to drawing and to portraits. So I went back to drawing. I started with my family, my parents, my grandparents, my kids, my wife. I did it in restaurants, on vacation. I did it at home, in watercolors, pencil drawings, on canvas, from photographs and life drawings. So drawing became fun again and sometimes birthday presents. My phone became my sketchbook. With the technology of the iPhone, I could now have a new perspective of my drawings. With the Finger Draw app, I can choose colors, pencils, and brushes. Let me show you a small video I made of, so you can see and uh, understand step by step a portrait made on the iPhone. This is what I call a quick portrait of my wife. It was not so quick, it took about 45 minutes. Let's see more examples. This was the very first portrait I had made on my iPhone of my, my wife while she was cooking. This was from a photograph of my son sitting behind my other son playing the computer, so I had to be very fast on that. Uh, my mother made out of a photograph, my wife at the restaurant, a self-portrait from a photograph, and finished self-portrait from the mirror, another try, and a friend from a photograph. One year ago, I was shocked when I read that Lucian Freud had died, the man who had, through his work, put me back to drawing and to portraits. I was devastated, and my wife suggested me I paint his portrait. What a challenge. So I picked a photograph from the book, and I did this portrait. At this time, um, I realized that the portraits on the iPhone had to continue. So I went there and uh, chose my other favorite painters, portrait painters, artists like David Hockney, who I, I've been following for more than 30 years, and actually also had made uh, iPhone and iPad drawings. Avignor Arica, a uh, Romanian painter who had a very special eye for close friends and family. The young artist, American artist, Elizabeth Payton, who has the courage of painting her portraits, uh, looking at photographs of rock stars and friends. Alex Katz, another American painter, who has in simplicity and elegance his trademarks. But why keep those iPhone portraits inside my iPhone? Uh, it's not only about technology, it's about life. So why not bring them back to life as paintings? iPhone on canvas.
High portraits became a show. And this is how it looked. And this is the opening night. And this is the outcome on the web. And this, this is the portrait of the man who brought me back to portraits, now alive on canvas. Thank you.